<gasps> That's really like just outside of my house. What the f hit me again? So today, I want to go to the nether and explore that a little bit. Here in the nether, the goal will be to get some loot, basically. Let's uh, explore a little bit in this direction. What the f*** are the chances of that ha- What? No way. There's absolutely no way. What the f*** are the chances of that? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, I'm not going to that because I'm not stupid. But, if I was stupid, I would go into that. I, I want to have at least full enchanted gear before I go there. Um, so we're not going to do that quite yet. I think this way is probably the best bet to go explore. I thought I saw a fortress as well. Okay, okay, we've got quite a quite a variety of biomes. Right, I think it's a bit dumb to go exploring that way because we will most likely end up in lava. And I don't feel like doing that right now. Okay, which way can we go? The nether just isn't what it used to be. It's so hard to explore now. It's actually a really bad spawn for exploring. Like, yeah, there's a bastion right next to where we spawned, but... Uh, we can't we can't really go anywhere. It would, I would have preferred a fortress, I won't lie. Fortress is way more useful to us. It looks like we may have to just go back here because I don't have the materials to go exploring. I'll dig through here, I guess. Just see what's on the other side. It is a soul valley over there. Fantastic, fantastic. We've got like every single biome in like not very big distance. That's pretty nice. Um, let me also grab some glowstone. I'm not entirely sure why I need it, but probably will at some point. Although villagers can also give it to us. And that's about as far as I can go. For now. For now. We'll uh we'll definitely be back later. Yeah, okay, let's let's head back for now. Um What well, the other thing I wanted to do today is um get some villagers together so we can start villager breeding and trading with them and stuff. But yeah. Villager trading. Um we need at least two villagers over here. Which shouldn't be too hard to do. The reason we want to get villager trading going is so that we can get a lot of stuff, including tools. Now, once we have redstone, something I'd very much like to do is set up an auto stone factory. Because I like to expand our block palette from just wood to some stone things. But mining stone is boring. Smelting stone is boring. So I'm going to make it automatic. I do also want to organize my farms a bit better because at the moment I've got two farms. I've got this carrot farm there and this tree farm here. My mob farms are over there, so they're, they're kind of okay. But I want to have everything kind of in one place. Now, it would actually make sense to put my villagers next to this uh, because this is currently what's going to be providing me with, with emeralds. And I literally just wanted two blocks up. Now this is where our like actual trading stuff will go. We'll expand this later. Uh, for now, I just need the platform here, so I know where it's gonna go. For the breeder, we'll just put it on the side here. For now, it's going to be manual, I think, because I'm really lazy. I miss when slimes couldn't swim in water. Better days. Right, neat. Don't die. Or I'll kill you. Ah, <gasps> it's working! Now, the way I'm planning to get the little guy out... So yeah, the way I'm going to get him out is going to be quite simple, actually. I'm going to have this, like, line over here where I can walk up and down. And I'm going to have my villagers standing here. They're by like a block each and on the, on the other side as well um, but I'm not gonna do I'm not gonna bother with that one right now so I want the villagers standing like right there they're going to have the stuffs over here I think and then there's going to be a trapdoor here and then back here and back there there's going to be a little path for them to be able to walk down and get to their station before they're blocked off forever I think for now we're just going to have this really basic hall set up it's nothing crazy I don't even need a hall per se I just need Somewhere that they're semi-organized, so I can just focus on getting shit done. Now, I'm going to need to place this door, like, really quickly. Or they'll be able to escape. 
Oh, I could have almost just like fucked off entirely. Okay, cool. I think they only make enough babies to fill up the beds. I guess uh, something else that like I should do is do that on all of them. Uh, so that if this is like for some reason, like for example a brewing stand, something a baby zombie could like crawl next to and be able to get close enough to the villager, um, they wouldn't be able to do that. I wonder, how many slimes have I killed? Quite a lot. Quite a lot more than anything else. You know what? Go through. Go through, I dare you. Go through. Ah uh, yes. I forgot I need to like actually have access over here. Uh, you're in there forever now. Yeah, I forget. I, I forgot I need to cycle the trades, don't I, until I get a good one. Right, so what I'm going to now do is actually reverse this trapdoor. Now, I can cycle his trades. I'll figure out a better way of doing this. I think that's probably the best trade then. Oh, now, now they do pumpkins. Should have taken... I should have gotten the pumpkins from that wandering trader. Because pumpkins we can farm quite easily, actually. Not that this is a particularly good deal. Although it's actually a lot better of a deal than anything you would have had on the older versions. And I want to advance his trades a little bit, actually. The melon deal is actually pretty decent, but melons require crafting, which is lazy. But the next villager will probably want is the guy that can do iron, which I think is a weaponsmith. Now, we don't have that much iron. It would be good if we had like something that can produce like a few stacks a minute. Okay, I think the guy we really want right now is going to be a toolsmith, because then we get some tools, rather than a weaponsmith, because then that only gives us a sword, and we don't really care for swords. Now, armorers also are pretty good, but I think I'd rather have a diamond pick than diamond armor, because, let's face it, I'm not really taking much combat. Oh, hey, look at that. He's ready to go out into the real world. And just like that, their dad left for milk. <gasps> Mr. Villager. Come back. No, no, no. You don't need to go there. You want to go over here. Yes. No! Oh my god, why is why is doing anything with villagers always so fucking stressful? Anyway, so that the next one doesn't end up like that, we'll do that. Go on, get out of here. Thank you. Okay, we'll we'll take that. Um, I'm thinking I should probably put a couple chests there with some various villager tradable things. Things like pumpkin. Pumpkin farms are the ways to go, to be honest. Pumpkins and melons, but pumpkins preferred because you don't need to craft them up into full blocks. Oh, that's good. That I like. That I like less. Steep price. Oh, fuck. No, that's expensive. It is. I could use wood one. That's probably the only axe I'm going to get from this guy. But all of my emeralds for that. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Okay, well, I guess that's our villager here for now. These aren't necessarily the enchantments we want. We're actually, these are really bad enchantments. They're absolute garbage. We can get way better than that. But. All we need is to be able to get some diamond tools for now, because guess what, we can use a grindstone and then we can enchant ourselves, or we can apply new enchants, or if we get actually good enchantments on these, then we can combine them. Now, I wouldn't mind finding another wandering trader. Whilst I think of what to do next, um, I suppose we can AFK a little bit, so I'm going to go up here. We can go try find a horse. Spend the next hour or so doing so. Um, now, okay, yeah, I know there's a horse in this direction, but it's not, probably not going to be very good. It may not even be a horse, it may be a mule or something. Well, I'm not sure those can spawn naturally in villages. I think this may be the one. Oh no, is this the deserted one? Yeah, this is the deserted one, I think. No, this one looks fine. This may be the one then. Oh, but it's not, I don't think. I think this is a new one. Because I don't remember us finding one of these. 
and I'll need to check. And I'll be quite upset because I could have had lava a long time ago. I'll take that. I will absolutely take that. We can look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh shit. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Whoopsie. <laughs> now, if we can get one more diamond, then we can make ourselves an enchantment table. And we're basically set. I was just realized I did. There's some horses! Oh my god, there's, they, have, they have horses. That feels slower than the other one. Oh my god, he cannot jump for shit. Probably one of the faster horses, though. Overall, these horses are shit. Where's that final one gone? Right, well, I'm going to need to test this. See which one's fastest. Just straight to that door. Which one's fastest? Six seconds flat. This one's faster. Um, 5.8 seconds. For now, though, we have something that allows us to... Why is it that once we get something after trying so very fucking hard, we find it spawning naturally? What the fuck? Like, what is going on there? Pretty slow. That's really, like, just outside of my... What the fuck? This is... Oh, my... This is... You know what? You know what? We can bring all of these back. Because they're, like... The house is literally just there. Okay, I think this one's going to be really ridiculously fast. That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. Wow. This one's ridiculously fast, though. I like that. I can run faster than that. We are going on an adventure to my house. I know, I wanted to like do a lot of stuff this stream, and I had planned to like stream for four hours or something, um, but I've done everything I've really wanted to. Um, it would just be furthering those things along now, which I didn't want to. Cool. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's actually not too bad of a deal. Golden carrots are like so fucking good, and you've got me three of them. Um. I'll just do that for now, but I will be training with you a lot. What the fuck? I mean, I suppose that's one way of getting some obsidian. I mostly need it for things like pistons and stuff, so I'm gonna just mine some cobble, I guess. Well, I don't think we're gonna get anything else really accomplished today. So I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna close it out for now. Yeah, uh, that'll be it for today. Um, we did what we wanted to, which was get the villagers there done. So, yeah, and, and we got the horses. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.